Hey guys, Raisin Raccoon here, bringing you another Let's Play. And no, it's not Mega Man 11. It is... Bum -ba -da -bum. Super Mario 3D All-Stars for the Nintendo Switch. Check this out. This game just came out today. And you know what? Let's dive right in. Supposedly there is a day one patch. But you know what? We're going to live on the edge a little. This is the first time I'm ever seeing any of this gameplay. Okay, <laughs> that was uh, interesting. All right, so this is what you see. The first thing you notice, you'll get a little bit of backstory with Super Mario 64, 1996, 2002, Super Mario Sunshine, Galaxy 07, Mario 64 soundtrack. All the soundtracks are included, which is great. Is there a, nope, there's, that's about it. And I'm actually playing this with the GameCube controller right now. Supposedly they said there's no GameCube support. I'm not exactly sure what that means. I'm playing it right now, but maybe, maybe later we'll figure out just exactly what that means. Okay, so this is just little, uh, little demos. They could actually be the whole track. There is no, there is no length time for each individual song. It seems to go for 50 minutes about the soundtrack and then this one is just an over an hour 10 and of course this one is the big one two hours and seven minutes so this sunshine is going to consist of or this let's play is going to consist of sunshine and let's just dive right in loading to check the controls or suspend the game press minus well i don't really have a minus button on the gamecube Oh man, this is so exciting. I've been debating on doing a Mario Sunshine playthrough for such a long time on the GameCube OG hardware, but since this game came out, it's the perfect opportunity. So everything looks nice. Pretty well rendered, especially from old composite slash S video. Ooh, look at that. And it comes with subtitles on it. Nice touch. before you had to click on the subtitles Welcome. to activate them in the menu. So if you don't know the storyline to this game, it's pretty much Mario's on vacation, you know, he's chilling out, and then out of nowhere, some guy, an imposter, dresses up as Mario, runs around, and gives him a bad name by graffitiing all over the place, creating sludge, and just polluting the entire island. So it's Mario's job to find out who this guy is and, you know, take him down, Mario style. Of course they're infatuated by a, a vacation. After all, this is supposed to be one of Mario's off times. I wanna say it might come after 64. After Peach gives him that cake, and they're like, you know what, let's get out of here. So there is Isle Delfino. It's shaped like a dolphin. Wow, this looks really good. Press A. What was that? That was not what I'm used to. So this is what you see in the OG GameCube version 2. I have everything collected. One thing that they removed is the ability to put in surround mono sound. There used to be a little pianta that would say, or that would have speakers on his ears. Okay, that's pretty interesting. You can still do little tricks. I have beaten this game 120, all 120 shines back in the day. It was a real... It was a real challenge. I mean, for kids, this was no easy game. There were some hard shines. I may go through some hard shines just to test myself, but I don't think I'm going to be going for a full 120 shine run. Maybe later, but my main priority is to beat Bowser and uh, just complete the game normally. So you know what? Enough mucking around, enough BS. Let's just go straight into it.
I got this game way back when it came out. I think it was that same Christmas. My parents, or Santa, gave me a GameCube. And that had to be one of the best... The best Christmases, like, ever, I think. I don't think anything topped that. Legit. The feeling, the emotion, getting sunshine. It was, like, the hottest thing back then. I remember spending time at like Best Buy, the kiosks that they would have, the little demos, and just playing Sunshine till the cows came home, or at least until we, we had to leave. Leave the store. So there is Shadow Mario. Doing his thing. If you played Smash, I'm sure you already know who this guy is. I mean, what am I saying? This game is like 20 years old. No, I think it's going on 18. All right, let's do it. The cutscenes don't look too bad. Oh, what the heck? Everything looks a little weird. So I am playing it with the GameCube controller. I don't know what they what they mean. Maybe the oh, I see. Okay. Oh, they changed Mario's sprite here. So normally this would be the Z button. It would take you into a map of sorts, and it would give you the total, all the shines you've collected. The score, everything. Right now we gotta get to that place, but we're on Delfino Delfino Airstrip. That looked not so good. What the What's wrong with the water? Are you seeing this? I mean, it's supposed to be the illusion of like it's a really hot day and it's like reflecting off of the pavement. Okay, okay, whatever. You know, just... Maybe the game plays a little better. But... What the f... Okay. That didn't look good either. So I'm gonna switch controllers now. I have the Pro Controller. But... I just switched to... I just switched to the Pro Controller. And now everything seems to work a little bit better. I have my Rumble back. The reason why I can't continue with the... The GameCube is because the GameCube controller's L button brings up the menu. I think... I don't exactly know... So the L button, or the left trigger here, switches my camera up. A and B both jump. Um, I assume... Or why is... Why is lunging or throwing yourself, which is really good for speedrunning and getting through levels quick. I assume X... I'm pressing X. I, I want to say that's with Flood later on. D-pad does nothing at all. C-stick works as it should. Oh! Oh! Okay, so the C... The C... Uh, the C-stick, the, the right thumbstick, when you press down on it, it throws you into the first person, or... Uh, zoomed in third person mode. Which used to be Y's function. Okay, so that's how you do that. To activate the map, it is the left button. And I'm sure R shoots Flood and does all that stuff, but let's go collect him. All these guys are like, what the hell's going on, Mario? Press the B button. I wonder if they switched the, uh, if they made them say things normally. Or if they had to um, rewrite what they say in order to accommodate the pro controls. Power. I guess we'll see. Thank you for purchasing this item from, Gab Science. from the demo, you could still see Flood had the X button to switch his stuff, so maybe that comes into play like that. On the little bottom left, you could see like little tidbits of Mario 64, Super Mario Bros. I always thought that was cool as a kid. The cutscenes look good, you know? Oh yeah, you can't skip this explanation. I don't believe... The Z button. I don't have a... Okay, I guess they didn't really change. They didn't do much effort to change that. But it wouldn't really make sense. I'm sure the X button is the same. 
and hover nozzle and the regular flood default flood and the little screw for an eye was a good touch thought this dude was real all right and I do not want to hear that explanation again I would get tricked all right oh they they fix him here okay so X does change the nozzle test your skills press the oh you know what ah okay that's how they got around the analog so when you're pressing R oh and it's inverted I don't think it was inverted before Okay, fine, I guess that's that's good. But the R button sits you in place and the ZL but or the ZR button, the right trigger, lets you makes you capable of movement. Cause before GameCube but uh GameCubes had analog control, so the farther you pressed in, the different responses you would get. So if you pressed it in all the way you would just stop in place and do whatever you would use flood for the amount of time you wanted but if you didn't press all the way using the analog controls you were able to move around and do whatever the heck you wanted so that's gonna take a little bit of getting used to especially this inverted control I don't think I can switch that uh, they said if you press the minus, it takes you back. Yeah, there's no way to switch that. Okay, I guess I gotta learn. It's all about ad <laughs> it's adapting, I suppose. So let's let's take out this one guy. Oh my god, I'm I'm trying to like play this as if it were the GameCube version. It's really hard. The sweet spot is when his mouth opens. If you get him when his mouth is closed, he's just gonna shake his head and be like, nah, dude. Okay, there we go. Easy as first boss. I'm sure he was troublesome to some younger players back then. You know, come to think of it, what I would do is I would start a new game and just chill out here because you only go back here later first shine of the game save and continue I'm gonna press I'm gonna keep pressing a for all these menu options I'm not sure if B is just gonna you know make the screen disappear or if a is the only thing that works I don't know so far I'm having a weird time but I haven't found any game-breaking glitches just yet. Mario is incarcerated. Alright. As, no as you can see... Shadow Mario is what they, they call him. You call him Dark Mario. I think I called him Shadow Mario back then. He just went to work. He even took the power from that big old shine in the middle of the island. That shine is pretty much their power source. Without it, I don't think they have any electricity or any, any type of... Like, they can't live comfortably. I always thought that looked like a face. Like a shocked face. I wonder if anyone's made a poster of that. That would look pretty cool. Mario's got a big head. I remember always playing this without the... Oh, it still rumbles. When the judge... Um, hits his gavel. 
It used to rumble on the GameCube. My GameCube used to rumble until, I don't know, something happened where it just stopped and it made playing games like Mario Party 4 a chore. You know, luckily, Nintendo saw through it and gave you a lot of options to switch to the rumble off. Usually it would consist of exclamation marks over the character, what have you. I don't know if this game has rumble, anything like that. But we'll see, I suppose. Everything sucks, everything's dark, you know? We're incarcerated. I was about to say, where's justice, but we were just in a courtroom. <laughs> that was kind of blows, dude. Legit, if I were Mario, I'd... I'd be... I'd be pissed. I remember as a kid, I would say, like, I wouldn't say that, but I'd be like, oh, it's not fair, you know. Oh, and these guys say some weird stuff. Alright, so now we got a... Isle, or Delfino Plaza, the main hub. Consider this, like, the castle if you've ever played 64. But I think I'll stop right here for now. Thank you guys for watching. Catch me in part two. Razor Raccoon signing out.